Ventricular rhythms arises when ventricles take control of electrical activity by themselves. Most of these are terminal or life-threatening. Ventricular rhythms lead abnormal ventricular depolarization as they initiated within ventricles instead of SA node in right atrium. So when there is abnormalities in ventricular depolarization, there will be abnormal repolarization as well. Typically two changes of electrical activity graphically presented on ECG. 1. Widened QRS complex and 2. Discordant ST segment which means QRS and ST segment differing in direction they follow. To learn deep about arrhythmias we recommend you to take our course, Masters of Arrhythmias. Moving on, here we are going to discuss some of the ventricular rhythms we see in clinical practice. Ventricular parasystole is an independent, automatic ventricular rhythm that emerges from a single ventricular focus. Characterized by a widened QRS complex with regular discharge and ventricular depolarization. Because the rhythm is independent and not suppressible, ventricular parasystole is characterized by varying coupling intervals and unchanged R intervals. Idioventricular rhythm is very similar to ventricular tachycardia, except the rate is less than 60 beats per minute. This is often seen in cases of high-degree AV block, in which the ventricle serves as dominant pacemaker. ECG criteria to match diagnosis includes 1. Absent P wave 2. Widened QRS complex and 3. Discordant ST segment Accelerated idioventricular rhythm or AIVR is a regular rhythm of ventricular origin that typically has a widened QRS complex at a rate of 60 to 100 per minute. It is often seen in cases of AV block, in which the ventricle serves as a subsidiary pacemaker, and in cases of coronary artery reperfusion after myocardial infarct. AIVR is similar to idioventricular rhythm, except faster. Ventricular tachycardia, or VT, is a sustained cardiac rhythm of ventricular origin that occurs at a typical rate of 140 to 240 per minute. In differentiating this from supraventricular tachycardia with aberrant conduction, the following features suggest VT. 1. AV dissociation. 2. Fusion or capture complexes. 3. Wide QRS complex. 4. Left axis deviation and tachyarrhythmia initiated by PVCs. If the R to S interval exceeds 100 milliseconds in any one precordial lead, then VT is the diagnosis. If RBBB morphology, possessing an RSR pattern, as opposed to an RSR1 pattern, VT can be diagnosed. Diagnosis of VT have various criterias, can be easily learned in our Masters of Arrhythmias course. Enroll the course now and enjoy it.